Hey, welcome back. This is Rochelle from The Clearance Geek. And today I'm going to try to do a new segment where I show you what I buy every about two weeks, so twice a month, for our groceries and for meal planning. This will be our biggest trip and most likely we'll only buy things, some perishables such as milk and bananas if we run out. So this is mostly it. Everything here was around $100, a little bit over, definitely under $125. So, first we went to Walmart and Target. We had to get some other things and some things I wasn't sure if I was going to get everywhere else today. So, we picked up a few necessities if I need to go tomorrow instead. So, we got bananas. We got 2% milk. We got some vanilla almond milk. We got a dozen eggs. Some yum yum sauce. And then from Target, we got goldfish and two of these white cheddar cauliflower pasta mac and cheese which is the only kind my very picky five-year-old will eat the only mac and cheese ever so definitely worth it and then I also went to Aldi and Trader Joe's so at Aldi I got some stevia got some cheese a thing of blueberries a thing of strawberries another dozen eggs because we use a lot of eggs and I'm going to boil some and such for lunches. Got some Greek yogurt, some puffs for the baby, some cream cheese, some Southwest chopped salad kit, some ham, some sweet corn, two things of it. These uh, chocolate chip bars for the kids snacks and they can't have anything with any kind of nuts. They, both classes have nut allergies, so I get chocolate chip granola bars because I've had a hard time kind of finding other snacks to send with them. Some more almond milk because I use a lot of that. Some honey, a head of broccoli, two things of tuna, some classic hummus, two cans of black beans, some Pop tarts, the frosted brown sugar and cinnamon, which is one of the only things my five year old will eat for breakfast, and uh, soy burgers because the kids eat some meat, but my husband and I are pescatarians where we only eat fish, we don't eat other meats. So, we you'll see a lot of meatless products. So, things like lunch meats are for the kids for lunches. So, then we got white cheddar puffs for my five-year-old. We got the caramel rice snacks for my uh, almost eight-year-old and three pea crisps for everyone but definitely for my the baby who's just learning to eat. Those are really great for that. Got some vegetable broth, a thing of spinach, some zucchini, a bag of zucchini, a bag of Brussels sprouts, three avocados, some mushrooms, bread for the kids lunches. My husband and I don't really eat bread, but it's great for kid lunch. And for Aldi still, we got peanut butter, got three bean chili soup mix, which is really good. Spinach herb wraps. And I think that's it for Aldi. Trader Joe's, we got our chocolate protein powder, which we had just run out of. We got some coconut chips, some miso ginger broth, some X and O gummies that I'm going to use for the kids' lunches to make them like a Valentine's Day special lunch, some broccoli, broccoli uh, flores, some blood oranges. The kids love these. Um, a watermelon. Oh, we also got some banana. I got some bananas at all these. Uh, butternut squash. This especially for the baby so that I can kind of steam them up. I'll use them for other stuff too, but I was definitely thinking of her. Um, meatless meatballs. The kids already dug into these, but they're chocolate covered pretzels also for the special lunch. Turkey corn dogs for the kids. And some chicken pot stickers, which is something we're kind of make friends for a special dinner and that's like the only time we'll eat meat stuff. But they didn't have any sort of vegetarian ones. Like fine. And then I got two of these of the free fruit leather buttons. I want to see how the kids would like them. So 
I have meal plans set up for two weeks that use these items plus some items we already have. There's a few things that I couldn't find at the store for my meal plan, but I'm looking to spend maybe five more dollars besides any extra milk we might need and any extra bananas. So we're coming in under 150 for two weeks worth of groceries. I'm hoping to be able to film what I make and what my meal plan is so that you can see how I use the items and how I can keep my grocery shopping pretty low. We're a family of five, although it's kind of four and a half because there is one six month old who's just now learning to eat. But we do have two adults and two children that eat a lot. So two school lunches every day. So it'll be really good to show everyone how you can eat well, eat healthy, and not break the bank doing it. Thanks. So I want to show you what my meal plan is for the next two weeks that I just got the groceries for. So I have this nice little calendar here that's my menu and my meal planning for the month. So today is February 1st and I get paid on the 1st and the 15th so usually I'll have those will be uh, the start of the next time will be the 16th so after I get paid on the 15th I can go grocery shopping for then. So tonight we had pizza. We had the oldest kid had a friend sleepover so pizza was just really easy that we already had. And then tomorrow night we're going to have the pot stickers. Then Sunday we're going to have soy burgers. We have baked sweet potatoes, which we already had a whole bag of sweet potatoes. Hot tofu nuggets, and again, I already had tofu, so I didn't have to buy it. Wednesdays, we have cheerleading every night. So it's very easy, we, that's usually our leftover night, and we'll just heat up leftovers from what else I've made previously. Thursday, barbecue meatballs. Friday, black bean soup. Saturday, crunch wrap, which is we basically make a crunch wrap from uh, Taco Bell, except we make a homemade one and it's really good. And I'll try to show some recipes of some of these dinners. On sat uh, Sunday again, it'll be miso ramen, which is really good. Some stir fry bok choy, some Mexican street corn casserole, and then Wednesday leftovers again. And then Thursday, sweet potato shepherd's pie, and then Tuscan salmon on Friday. And then down here in the little notes area, I write out some breakfasts and some lunches. So I don't do, put those on every day like I do the dinners, but I have a general idea of what we have and what we can make for them. So breakfast burritos are something I'll prep and put in the freezer so we can just heat it up. Peanut butter banana quesadillas or something I'll throw together real quickly in the morning. Overnight oats I make the night before. Egg muffin sandwiches we actually have in the freezer right now that I already made. Sweet potato toast. Smoothies, which is usually what I have for breakfast. And omelets. And then for lunches, for the kids, I make them a special lunch every day. So I'll do like little fun pics and little fun designs. And so I plan out themes and I have another area um, that I actually write down what I'm gonna put in each one for each theme. But so on my board here, I just write down the themes and I kind of know what I'm putting in there. So there's gonna be an under the sea theme, a dino theme, a unicorn, and of course Valentine's, which I showed some of the pretzels and gummies and such I've gotten for that. And then a breakfast for lunch theme, um, a mac and cheese with the cauliflower mac and cheese that I bought, a Jojo Siwa theme, which my oldest asked for specifically, and a homemade lunch bowl for a day. And then for us, for lunches, we have vegetable pad thai, Southwest salad, a tuna wrap, stir fry veggies, a hummus plate and we can always eat leftovers too of other things I'd made earlier in the week or we always have salad stuff or we have hummus vegetables um, if I don't have a smoothie for breakfast I usually have a smoothie for lunch so we for uh, my husband and I we have a lot of options for lunches and the kids buy lunch one day a week so that's kind of a special thing they do so I only plan out eight 
lunches for them for school. So that's our menu board and that is what I went shopping for. And I think the only thing I need still for this week is the bok choy that Trader Joe's was actually out of. And otherwise, I ha we have the, uh, everything to make all of these meals, including all the breakfasts and lunches, for two weeks. Another thing we started doing, which has been super helpful for knowing what we have in the fridge, is we made a little board that I got at the Dollar Tree. We put it on the fridge. And we have a section for leftovers. So we have what leftovers are in the fridge and what date they're put in there. And then prepped food and what date it was put in there for the fridge and the freezer. Now, we just started putting what date we put them in there and we're gonna start trying to do open foods too. So foods that were open and maybe going bad soon, put them up there so that we can easily see without even having to open the fridge what we have to eat up and such like that. It's especially good for leftover nights or lunches where we're like, hey, I'm kind of hungry. What is there? And we can go, oh, there's some beef stroganoff. Let me go ahead and grab some of that. And it means we eat up our leftovers much faster, much easier because we know they're in there. 